Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hulk or Hulkasaurus and today I'm actually bringing you guys a video on how to set up a Blue Snowball Microphone. This is the first ever time I've done one of these, first ever time I'm doing one about the Blue Snowball Microphone and I'm going to cut over to my phone footage, how I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and then I'm going to go through it on the computer and then I'm going to go through it on recording and stuff like that. So apparently my mic sounds really good compared to other people. I know a few other people have it and just don't get the quality that I do so I really wanted to explain how to get it as good as best quality as you could so as you guys can see this is the pop filter and the blue snowball microphone and now before i really get into it i just wanted to explain that there is no switch on the back you can't really see it at that point but there's actually no switch at the back it's just the blue snowball ice instead of the blue snowball original kind of thing but anyway so the first thing that you can tell is the pop filter this thing right here this is a pretty normal standard size pop filter it's nothing special it just attaches to my arm which attaches to the mic stand, which I'll get into in a second. But yeah, basically you want a pop filler, and I usually use it about this far away from the microphone, where you probably are getting blinded by the sun right now. There we go. As you guys can see, as you guys can see, can't speak right now, but it's actually pretty close to the uh, thing. It's about like one finger's. Oh, I just fucked up the microphone probably. But yeah, it's about one finger's width. You guys can use it as far or as close as you want, but I like having it about one centimeter away from it or about, you know, two, three centimeters, whatever a finger is. But anyway, yeah, so that's the main thing. Pop filler, you need that. 100% you need that. But anyway, so moving on, we have the arm from the pop filler. This pop filler, by the way, it cost me two or three quid. It's really, really cheap. It's a ridiculously cheap thing. Seriously, get one. But if you're using the original Blue Snowball microphone, you know, put it on a desk or whatever like that, um, basically you can't really get the best quality out of it because you need to be really close from to the mic. As you guys can tell, I don't know whether you can see this. I'm trying to use this this microphone, but basically, or trying to use this screen. I usually use it about this far away. I don't know whether you can you can. Uh, you can tell how far away I am, but basically, I'm pretty close to the microphone. I'm usually pretty close, and that's because the microphone is, like, the Blue Snowball Ice especially, is especially made for really, really close audio, stuff like guitars and things like that, hence why the mic stand is really, really small. But when it comes to doing commentaries, you need a bigger mic stand. So, you buy something like this. This is a fucking huge mic stand, as you guys can tell. You know, it's, it's pretty big. Wait, let me, let me focus. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty fucking huge to be honest. It's a, like it's a gorilla stand, I think it's called. Um, it's used for like proper sing, like singers and stuff like that. And it's fucking huge, as you guys can tell. Like, look, okay, this is the size of my foot. You know, it's pretty big. It, it takes up a lot of space. Obviously, this isn't ideal, but it does the job. So yeah, just try and get a mic stand. You can get a lot of them that uh, come off the side of your desk and things like that. I know my buzz, buddy Wiz got one like that I'm pretty sure um, and it comes off like the desk so it attaches to, like this bit as a clamp and then just like goes up and around and ends up in your face but just mine comes from the floor so yeah anyway that's about it for setting up the microphone itself all you need is a pop door and you need a mic obviously and you need a stand and again like the biggest thing is that you need to be about I don't know five inches away from the microphone so if you got the original stand that's not gonna be really happening too much unless you've got a way of getting the stand so close so yeah just I'd, I'd say buy a new stand buy a really cheap pop filter they're like two quid stands are probably like 30 quid something like that I know that these ones are pretty expensive the ones that clip off of there and come up blah 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 those are pretty expensive, but they're good, so yeah. Alright, so now we are getting on to this, basically. Now, this is me, I'm just chilling here, but I'm going to throw that over there and get out of the way. But, the first thing you... By the way, ignore this fucking giant desktop with loads of stuff. I mean, it makes sense to me, okay, but whatever. First off, you want to type in... Like, this is for Windows 7, by the way. You want to type in set up and then it comes up with like set up a microphone that's the one that you're gonna want to click on and then i'll talk you through exactly what you want to do so you come to this wizard or you come yeah it is a wizard so and then you go to desktop microphone because obviously it's desk or like it's kind of a desktop microphone but you want to do that and then you want to set up the microphone and then you want to do this and then do the peter the blah 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 to the microphone as far as you want away from the microphone so if you're if you're miles away like this then uh, you know it'll like it'll do it accordingly but it won't be as good but you want to be about here as you guys can tell from the webcam that I'm going to be throwing up somewhere that's how you want it to look but I'm actually going to be pressing cancel now because otherwise it'll screw up my microphone and I'll have to go through it all over again but yeah so that's how you set up the microphone itself for 
Computer use, that's all you gotta do. That's as simple as that. All you gotta do is just set it up with that setup and microphone thing. I know that it's on Windows 8, it's on all of the windows. There's just different ways of doing it, and this is Windows 7. You just type in, go to the bottom, type in set up a set up a microphone. And that's it. This is really as simple as that. So next you come to actually recording. This is the main important part, I guess. I mean, all of it's got in its, its importance, is, but that's not even a word. But yeah, like this one is pretty important. So if you're going to be recording with Audacity, which I'll show you guys right now. Um, actually, Audacity is a really bad idea. Let's do OBS instead. So we're going to go to settings. So you're going to want to set up like this is just for OBS. Okay, all of the other things are exactly the same. You just have to get this to audio, this is where you find audio in OBS, 320. You have to record in 320 kilobytes per second, that is, or kilobits per second, or bit rate, or whatever it's called, that is the important bit, okay? That is the main part, 320. That is so, so important, because if you record in anything less, like 256 isn't too bad, 192 isn't too bad, the rest are pretty garbage. 128 especially. 128 is going to be the standard thing that a lot of people are set to and a lot of programs are set to. You want to try and find a way of getting up to 320 kilobytes per second. That is very, very important. I can't stress that enough. One last thing that I actually forgot to mention that I will be going into is render settings because again, 320 kilobytes per second is the important bit and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it on Vegas. So once my Vegas opens, I'm going to show you guys that. But basically, as a little recap, all you gotta do is have the mic about four inches away from your face most times. I mean, I'm pretty far away from it right now. You gotta have a pop filter, 100%. You have to, have to, have to have a pop filter. And you have to have a good stand, something that works pretty well with your, like, setup and everything like that. But anyway, this is Vegas, as a lot of you guys, like, edit in, a lot of you guys know. Come on, load. There we go. It's gonna be a bit laggy, but, you know, this is a cutcom, by the way. This is a finished cutcom. I already uploaded it. If you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link to it in the description. Casual little plug there. But anyway, I'm going to press on render as the normal stuff um, and I actually have some presets that maybe I'll go into one day but I probably won't to be honest but the Cutcom 60 FPS or yeah Cutcom 60 FPS 720 this is a very important thing um, this is like my best render setting kind of thing um, and we gotta go on to the customized template that's where we find it but first of all all of this sort of stuff is completely normal that's you know that, that's normal stuff we go to audio this is again the important bit Boom, bitrate, 320. Uh, you don't need to go up to 512. I mean, 512, you know, that's that's cool, but you really don't need to go that high. 320 is the main thing. Again, I think this is set to 128 on a lot of things. And again, I think 128 is like radio standard and 320 is CD standard or something like that. And obviously, CDs always sound amazing. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I know, well, I'm pretty sure that 320 is CD standard. But yeah, make sure. It is 320. You just go down, slap, 320, boom, there we go. That is how you get your Blue Snowball microphone to sound really good. So you have to set it up through the computer. That's one thing that a lot of people don't do. And you have to render and record in 320 kilobytes per second. Obviously, if you record at 1 to 8, then don't bother rendering up to 320 because there's no point. But if you record in 320 and render down to 1 to 8, it's going to end up per terrible. So yeah, like just make sure that you're always recording and rendering 320. Make sure you set up the microphone itself and make sure you have the like physical setup correct. So anyway, I hope this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit. Hopefully it did. It probably didn't to be honest. I'm really, really bad at doing these type of videos. And today I can't talk very well. I just came in from work, hence the uniform and everything like that. Don't, don't quote me on like blue on green. Just don't like, don't pay attention to me for that one. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you out. If you don't care for blue snowball microphones, you probably won't have even clicked on this video. But if you got to this minute mark and I don't know how far we are through the video, something like 12 minutes, something like that. If you did get this far, then thank you. Even if you don't care about Blue Snowball microphones, then thank you very much. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't expect you guys to watch this whole video, but it's the end of the video, so I guess you have watched the, the video. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow we're doing a vlog. Day after, we're back to a cutcom talking about how I hit market a fucking six on. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't do a like, thank you. That's my intro now. Outro. Intro. Outro. Anyway, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, Leave a like. If you didn't, do not leave a like. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in this video. Peace out.